Here are four awesome discoveries you probably didn't hear about this week. Our first discovery is a twofer, a blueprint for turning a greenhouse gas, CO2, into one of the most valuable materials ever sold, carbon nanotubes with small diameters. Carbon nanotubes this small are superheroes. Think Superman and Ant-Man combined. Stronger than steel, more conductive than copper, but very expensive. Now researchers are onto a new process that could make them cheap and from CO2 sucked right out of the air. Ah, fresh ocean air. Take a deep breath and you're likely taking in sea spray aerosols. And those tiny bubbles are bursting with more than salt. Scientists at this NSF-funded facility have found that bacteria and viruses coated by waxy substances are found in greater numbers than others in ocean spray, and more likely to be ejected into the atmosphere as waves break. An evolved strategy? The researchers say maybe. Next challenge, figure out why the microbes are doing it and when it's good or bad for our health. Compression therapy is standard treatment for patients whose veins struggle to return blood from lower extremities. But there's no great way to know if a bandage is applying the ideal pressure for a given condition. Now engineers have developed pressure-sensing photonic fibers and woven them into a typical compression bandage. As the bandage is stretched, the fibers change color. Stretch to the color and accompanying charts as you need for your condition, and that's a wrap. Whoa, whoa, hold up, I gotta charge my phone. And there we go. That's how fast a new battery design could do the job, changing up how we charge up. Instead of an anode and a cathode on either side of a non-conducting separator, a new concept intertwines the components in a self-assembling 3D structure with thousands of nanoscale pores filled with the components necessary for energy storage and lightning quick charges. Um, I've gotta take this. Hello? And there you have it. See you next week with four more awesome discoveries funded by NSF.